Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. So what you're seeing here on the screen is me indulging in a bit of gaming nostalgia. Yeah, this is Doom 1. Actually, no, this is Doom 2, but it's a heavily modified version of Doom 2. In fact, I'm running it with the Brutal Doom mod. Now, I've really been enjoying this lately and I was streaming it quite a bit and people have been asking me, well, how do you go about modifying these old games? And it's a lot, lot simpler than you think. So what I thought I'd do, instead of just covering it in a stream, I'd knock out a quick video and let people at home modify Doom for themselves. And as I say, you'll find it is very, very easy to do and it's a hell of a lot of fun. So without any more faffing about, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video. Okay, so what do you need to do if you want to run a modded version of Doom yourself? Well, first things first, you're going to have to grab yourself a source port engine, which I suggest, GZ Doom, which is quite good. There are a few others out there, but I've just been using this one a lot lately. So come to zdoom.org and as you can see here, it runs on Windows, Macs, and Linux, so good stuff, good news for everybody. Now, you're gonna to wanna to run a, a mod of some description. I'm gonna suggest Brutal Doom, but there are literally thousands of them out there, so no biggie, but I'm having a lot of fun with this one. It's great, and uh, I recommend it, but as I said, thousands of them out there, just Google, okay? You've grabbed a copy of that. Now, one other thing, if you don't have the original versions of Doom 1 or 2, you won't have the kind of wad engine sort of game files so not a biggie if you don't want to buy the original game what you can do is come here go to freedom.github.io just do a search for freedom it'll come up basically this is like an open source version of doom and it will allow you to run loads of uh, loads of the mods anyway and it's a pretty decent game in its own right i enjoy playing it a lot so there you go no problems but now that we've grabbed all the files that we needed here I have a GZ Doom, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So, you're going to have to, if you've got the original Doom files, great. What you need to do is just navigate within your system to wherever you've got them and just grab a copy of them and put them here. Okay. And if you also don't have these or you just want them and you've downloaded the Freedom files, grab those as well. Here we go. You'll see them there. All right. Now, finally, what do we need? I know I've forgotten something. Oh. Brutal Doom, so here comes our mod. Okay, unzip that there as well. Brilliant stuff. Now, how do you run the mod? Well, you're gonna have to do this just kind of pick it up, right click, open with GZ Doom. Okay, and it's gonna ask you which kind of game engine do you want to run it with. I'm gonna choose Doom 2. If you run it with like one of the Freedom ones, it'll, the maps will all be kind of different as well, but I think that adds to the flavor oh one thing as well vulcan's being supported which is quite nice instead of just open gl so moving forward with the times i like it okay anyway let's hit play gz do here we go brilliant stuff we'll just go new game normal whatever yes i'll do okay so here we are in game now what you'll find, I've actually just changed this, but I've had to change my movement keys because this is using sort of pre-WASAD setups. And also I've just noticed that I can't look up or down. So I'll just quickly show you where you need to go to customize your settings. So let's just quickly go here. We'll go into options. Okay, we'll go into mouse options here. Always mouse look on. Okay, that way we can look up and down with no problems. And if you want to move your movement controls, change them just go into action and there we go they're it they're right here okay so i've changed these to like the new school way of moving so there you go let's let's try this out let's try a little bit of ads Ooh. very nice bit of high kicks very nice indeed okay so that is basically how you run a mod on doom these days don't forget to post any questions down below in the comments section so if you found this useful, please think about leaving a like or a subscribe. Let's feed that algorithm. And uh, I will see you next time. So until then, my friends, this is Hipkel. Having a really good time and signing off.